Sneaker fan, what's going on? It's your boy Jake back with another Real vs. Fake review, man. Um, you already know what it is. It's the Air Jordan 3J Balvin. Um, this is the pair I finally got from my friend, man, my co-worker. He finally brought them to work um, so I can do the review. It is a huge si size uh, disparity, but it is what it is. I got to, you know, do what I can. Um, and this is another pair. Uh, listen carefully this is another pair that i got this is not the one that i reviewed uh the other day uh the ljr version this is another version uh from another supplier so let's just keep in mind all right without further ado let's get on with it um both sleeves come with the plastic sleeve the, the plastic film on the uh on the sleeve um also has the size on it and stuff like that like I say, it's for legit checking purposes first. You see that there, but you know, it's a nine and a half and a 12. So all that stuff is going to be different. Um, let's just pull these things out the sleeve and, and just get on with the comparison. Um, I definitely want to compare, excuse me, the, uh, excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, I think that looks different. So if you take the lid off with that sunset, legit, and the replicated right here, you can see that there's a difference in that print, like that sun. There's another circle there, and you can barely see it on uh the fugazi here and then you can also see it right here there's a difference there i mean if you're legit checking out these are the things that you're gonna have to do because i think these things are super 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 scary close and i mean when i mean it's super super scary close it is um even from the one i reviewed the other day um, it was pretty bad. So let's take a look at the, the paper. Um, from what I see here, there's more yellow. You can see it here. On that paper. Those are the things you're going to have to do because these things are close. There's certain things I won't do. It's like weighing them and all that kind of stuff. So... Uh-oh, just lost the lid. This one had like multiple YDM stickers inside. Um, I don't see a YDM sticker in here. And does this spin? This one spins. I'm going to get that lid. All right, guys, just bear with me here. Let me take this other one out. And I just start comparing them, see how these things are. There's one thing I noticed that someone pointed out on my previous video, the standalone video, uh, the fake LJR version. <clears throat> he said, "Hey, legit pairs come with the with the uh, cardboard behind the heel tab." But guess what? These fakes come with the cardboard behind the heel tab and the legit cardboard behind the heel tab. There you go. Uh, they got that down to a T. We're looking at the toe. It's going to be different from a nine and a half. But yeah, I guess it's more sleek. Would anyone notice? No. Um, even the jump man and the embroidering look pretty good. Got a little dirt up here. looks like this, the, this is the fake pair. Um, the laces look different, but my goodness, even the material, everything looks pretty spot on. This is insane. Um, I hate to be the guy to say it, but boy, I wouldn't come out the pockets full beans, man. 
four five hundred dollars for this thing even in the even the chambers legit pair replicated pair i'm looking at everything here and it's like wow Let's take a look. Let's take a look at that um, hang tag right quick. I mean, the only thing you could probably look at is how bulky the uh, the midsole and the outsole is. But my goodness, I mean, let's look at the quality of this hang tag. Take a look at the legit. Pull that out. See if there's a difference. Yeah, there is. Fugazi, that's legit. Legit's up top. So that's what you see. Um, it's more of an orange where the where the fake is yellow. But from the eyelids, the elephant print, um, the tumbled leather, um, that all looks pretty good. It's just a slight, slight difference in the toe cap, uh, toe box. Other than that, yeah, a different shade of yellow, different shade of um, that milky outsole, different shade. It might show different on the um, on the black light. So while I'm at it, I'll just go ahead and... Uh, Pull out the paper and um, let's see what this insole looks like. We got the Dream Cell insole. Now, have to take a look at the quality of how that sunset looks and everything. See how the uh, fakes compare. really really shocked with this one they're really making threes pretty well all right so here we go that's the inside of the rep and yeah that's the difference yeah this feels solid this feels a lot flimsier like real jelly this is a, a solid firm um insole and you can see the print Slightly, slightly, slightly different, but this is a better material. Definitely a better material on the insole. Other than that, there isn't much. Literally, there isn't much. Yeah, yeah there's certain things you got to look out for. Cause you get scammed out here but i mean i hate to say it but i i wouldn't i wouldn't go the resale route this is the inside of the retail pair but if you want to that's on you ln4 let's see what's made made in china yada yada Remember, all shoes aren't made in China. They're made in Nam, Indonesia, Taiwan. So just stop it. Oh, but they're all made in China. <laughs> just stop it. All right, so that's looking good. Let's move that out of the way. We'll do a 360 on this pair here. See how that air unit looks if it's all pitted and stuff like that, which I can, you probably can't see it on the camera because of my lighting. Let's see here. So, but yeah, all in all, pretty good shoe. Stunned. I'm literally stunned. So we'll put the black light light on these things and no need to weigh them because they're two completely different sizes. So let's cut this light off. 
All we need to do is cut one light off. I think that's enough. You can see what's going on here. So you got some stuff here, you can see it. But now you see under the black light. See, that's why I feel that, you know, uh, black lights are important when it comes to um, legit checking shoes because you can see that there's two, they're using a different plastic and you can see that under the light, it shows a different reflection. It turns more into like a yellow. This turns in like a fluorescent. I don't know what color that is, like fluorescent yellow, just like really like bold uh, coming out. So take a look at the bottom here. Not legit at the bottom because it's a tinier shoe. So you don't see much here. That paper is glowing. So you can see it just used a different plastic on. And something I'm seeing here is these eyelids here are glowing under the light. They're reflecting under the light. Not as bold as the other ones. And these aren't. But other than that, I don't see much. So that's what you're going to see here uh, when it comes to legit checking. For buying purposes, you do what you want with your money. Whether you want to go buy a rep or legit, that is your choice. There's no rules to this game. Sneakers meant to be worn. You could collect them as well. If you're a collector, this is the, the route for you. If you like to wear and beat up your shoes, that might be the route for you. So, um, frankly, yeah, I don't really care. You do what you want. You know what I mean? Like, comment, share, subscribe. It's your boy Jake signing out. Appreciate you guys. Peace. Ooh, I made it through.